Good morning, folks, starting with a quake that occurred a moment before we processed this news, 6.2 in Peru. Solid rumble there. Coming to Dubai, where a very rare hailstorm pounded the area yesterday. That does not look fun. Landslide in Vanuatu a few days after the cyclone ran through there. Heavy rain now found at the remnants over New Zealand. Hope all is well for you guys there. Meanwhile, another system develops in northern Australia. Measurement mission is all over that one. Updates coming. Europe has another day of high pressure blocking the west. A small but powerful low has intruded the northeastern portion of the continent and present a stark contrast to the high pressure concentration of particles out west. More stuff in a smaller area, currently contributing to the pollution warnings in France. Coming further west, Pacific system still a major watch for the coastlines. Drive is strong there. Meanwhile, the top threat today is in Texas, as there's just heat and moisture rushing to that area all day. May spill into Louisiana, Arkansas, and a bit into the southeast Oklahoma corner. Hopefully no twisters. Solar flaring, another day on the decline. New viewers, bear with us a moment. We remember the multi-week conjunction of Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Because of their orbital speeds, they hung together for an entire month. We often see such conjunctions increase solar activity, especially where it's the inner planets and where heliocentric geometries are involved. And despite no major X flares, we have been above where we've been the rest of this multi-year period of solar weakening. We said last month that that line breaks around mid-March, and it's about to happen. We'll see if those larger but still mid-sized flaring subsides. Next geocentric intrigue is the Mars-Sun opposition in early April. Sunspots are highly disappointing this morning. Central group segregated the magnetics and is losing steam. Incomer up north has the leading umbral size but no team to back him up. Seven days of solar wind reading here. While density in orange is relatively steady, the speed in yellow and plasma temperature in green are elevated. This indicates a bit stronger solar wind at Earth, more energy, and yet again, more shielding from cosmic rays from the outside. They are continuing to go down, even though that extra plasma is not causing geomagnetic effects. Lastly, folks, if there's a cosmic equilibrium, you guys have a ton of good karma coming to you. Kind words. More shares of the Mobile Observatory project than I would have ever imagined, and folks, we are one-third of the way home on Kickstarter after one day. There's still room to put your name on the observatory by pledging to support the project, but over a hundred name spots are already gone. We get less than a month to pull this off. Need your support, guys, and thank you so much to those who have helped already in any way. May the universe smile on you today. Current conditions of the stratosphere and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.